Do you wish that you sounded exactly like an American English speaker? Well, today's video will be great speaking practice to help you practice those reductions that make American speech sound so fast. And it will help you as an English learner sound exactly like a natural English speaker. And it will help you be more well understood. Let's get started with the lesson. When we look at the list of the reductions in the American accent while speaking English, kinda, kinda is so popular. I hear almost all English speakers in the United States use this reduction when they're speaking casually, especially. So kinda is when you blend kind and of together. When our words end with a d or a t, we often just blend the next syllable of the next word into the word. So let's practice some sentences. Repeat after me. I'm kind of nervous to see my old friends. I'm kind of nervous to see my old friends. Make sure that you're speaking out loud with today's video. It will give you excellent practice to make your English sound faster and to make your English sound more like an American speaker. Now, I do enjoy foreign accents and I don't want you to forget that your accent is very unique and a part of you. But if you're trying to clarify your speech so that native English speakers can understand you and you just want to feel more confident with your own accent, this video will be helpful. But don't let anyone tell you that the way you speak is not proper or it's not professional because I would disagree with that. I kind of wish that my friends kept in touch more. I kind of wish that my friends kept in touch more. This phrase kept in touch or to keep in touch, it means that you communicate more often and you update one another about your lives. We usually use this phrase when we talk about communicating with old friends instead of just losing touch. We keep in touch. Are you kind of hungry right now? We could get some food. Are you kind of hungry right now? We could get some food. Great work. What kinds of pizza do you sell? What kinds of pizza do you sell? In this sentence, instead of saying kinda, I say kinda. Kinds of pizza do you sell? So when we have to say kind as plural, we say kinds of. We blend it all together. Kinda. Kinda. And alternatively, you could say types of pizza. So we would say typesa. Typesa. Practice this sentence. Repeat after me. What types of pizza do you sell? What types of pizza do you sell? And I just want to add that we don't typically say flavors of pizza. We say types or we say what toppings do you have for pizza? That is besides the point of this video, but very helpful to you if you're speaking English and ordering pizza. The next reduction we will work on is when you need to say a lot of. We usually, when we're speaking fast English, we're communicating quickly, we say lots of. Now that gets all jumbled and mumbled together to say lots of, lots of. So instead of saying lots of, the of changes to a, uh. lots of, lots of. I hope that you practice along with me there. Now repeat after me for these practice sentences. There are lots of ways to make money in the world. There are lots of ways to make money in the world. 
this means that there are lots of jobs in the world and different types of jobs. Lots of people pay the bills by working 9 to 5. Lots of people pay the bills by working 9 to 5. Great job. We use this phrase, pay the bills, to mean it makes money. So you can say, I pay the bills with my job. And then a nine to five means a normal job that you work during the day. Some people glamorize working as a digital nomad, so working from a laptop whenever. But if you go to an office or if you just work on your computer during the day, we call that a nine to five. It's a more traditional job. I have lots of friends that live overseas. I have lots of friends that live overseas. If you say that someone lives overseas, it means they live in another country and typically it's not attached to your country, it's another continent. So someone who lives in Europe, I would say that they live overseas. I wouldn't typically say when someone lives in South America, when I'm in the United States, that they live overseas because I guess technically you could drive there. But usually when we talk about Africa, Asia, or Europe in the United States, we say that is overseas. Do you know lots of people with iPhones? Do you know lots of people with iPhones? Well, you know me and I have an iPhone, so maybe you do. Great speaking practice. Let's move on to the next reduction that will help you refine your American accent. Instead of saying out of, we say outa, outa. So the of changes to an uh sound. Outa, practice with me. Outa, outa. Now that you've got that down, which means you have sort of mastered it, we're going to practice our sentences with the word outa. I was out of gas, so I had to stop and fill up my tank. I was out of gas, so I had to stop and fill up my tank. Excellent. I have to get out of my house once in a while. I have to get out of my house once in a while. When we don't leave our house for a long time, we call that going stir crazy. It means we just don't have much to do. Are you out of vacation time? Are you out of vacation time? Out of vacation times means that you no longer have any days off of work to take. In the United States, it's pretty standard to get two weeks of paid vacation a year. So this is time that you can take off of work and do whatever you want. But when you're at a company for much longer, usually you get closer to four weeks or I've even heard of six or eight weeks. How much vacation do you get? And are you out of vacation time? When do you get out of school? When do you get out of school? We use the phrase out of to also say released or when is something over? When is a time period over? You could also say when do you get out of work? Or you could say when do you get out of prison? <laughs> I hope you're not watching this in prison. Thank you guys so much for practicing your American accent with me, Kayla. You can follow me on Instagram at English with Kayla. I post daily lessons over there as well as here on YouTube. And if you really want to learn more from me, you can subscribe to my podcast. It's on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you listen to podcasts. It's called the English Vocabulary Help Podcast. And I do different lessons over there as well. And you can listen to them on the go. 
Let me know how you're studying your American accent right now and how you're practicing and comment below because I really want to hear what methods are helping you and you guys can help our community as well by posting your tips. Thank you guys again for studying with me. Best of luck. I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.